I've been to 12 of the 13 events and I've had a blast. 78. Why weren't you in the other one? Couldn't be bothered, could you? Want to play golf in Scotland. It's no excuse. Disgusting. This isn't disgusting. Whoa. Oh, oh nearly that is. We're going to see lots of that tonight, ladies and gents. He's, I'm not even sure he's trying to put it in there. Or if he was, it's a new one on me. Oh, he was trying to do that, though. Do I break into song? Whatever you can do, I can do just as well. I think that's a lyric, so I'll have to Google it. Just doing his mental arithmetic there. Dark players tend to do that vocally. Sometimes you can get 64. a little bit befuddled on the hockey with the pressure and the anxiety. But sometimes if you say it out loud, you can prove to yourself, yes, that is the right shot. Why go for the bullseye last dart? I'm not so sure, actually. I'm not even sure he knows. 59. I'm not even sure George 85. knows. He knows that the bullseye may be used right now. Gets another 60. 25. Did you require one? Sneaky, who's been playing sneaky well this weekend. He's had a really relaxed throw going on and a consistent set of darts in his hand. He's looked really good on shots like this. Threatening. He needs ball. Oh, that's miles away. Rubbish. You even heard him say it. Nathan, you require 25. Well, the Asp, who knocked out Michael Van Gogh in the defending champion this afternoon. And did so magnificently. Where's that? No score. Oh, that's where it is. That's in the Ratajski mark. 45. Ratajski, earlier this afternoon, couldn't it double eight with a hedgehog. Managed to hit double Eight's 11 going for it. Sneaky right. hits tops in a ropey first leg. Second leg, Peter to throw first. Both players who have Game decided on. to sport the red and black this evening. Yeah, if there is a, uh, a kit clash, uh, look at the trousers. Uh, that'll give you a clue. One hundred nine. Good crowd this evening here at Jib. Well, I've got to get it off my chest. We've got to say it and say it loud. One hundred and forty. The next two years, you're going to see Callan Ritz on the tour, and you're ah. going to see him at Ali Pali. He has won the Challenge Tour. Congratulations to Callan Ritz. It's been a long time coming. 140. I'll tell you what, it's been a long time coming for Peter Wright to hit a nine data on a big stage. I don't understand how he hasn't. Peter Wright has every ingredient known to man to hit a perfect leg. He takes out big combination finishes regularly. 70 and he hits loads of 180s. He's hitting 180s more than anybody in the world in the floor events this year. That's that's the level he's playing at. 45. What a leg of darts this is. We had a leg this afternoon between Rob Cross and Gerwin Price oh. that was ridiculous. This is very much like that. Peter Wright can take the 103 and deny Aspinall a shot at 10. 32 left. 87. What quality we are seeing here Maybe on Sunday in gym. 36. Double 18 for a 10 dart leg. Game show on the second leg, Nathan Aspen. That'll do wonders for your average. Third leg, Nathan to throw Do first. wonders for your confidence as well. Game he off. started slowly against MVG this afternoon. By missing doubles, by and large. The first two legs took six or seven bits to the board. 16. After that... They had a great. Nathan Aspinall walked off state. He had no idea he'd average in the mid 90s. He thought it was awful. He thought it was in the 80s. Van Gogh and averaged over 100. He got, 60. He got beaten 6 3 and well beaten. Nathan's got to the point in his career now and the point of confidence as well that he's playing so well this year that a mid 90s sneaky good performance like that will probably appear to him on the blind side as a bad performance. Well, you you must have felt that, right? 60. When When you were winning titles and winning major titles in the PDC, when you are on the top of the world and beating Taylor and everybody else who was, who was coming up against you, you go out 100. there and put in what's a very decent performance and you've won a game and you walk up and go, that was rubbish. I couldn't do so much better than that. Whereas 
at other points in your career, you'd be thinking, well, that's respectable. I've got the win. I've, I've averaged 94. That, that, that's good. Yeah. There's, a, there's misses in a leg of darts and a match, and then there's other misses. Let's say you have 52 left. 100 and you have a single 30. 20 and you hit it the first dart. That's, that's the exact scenario. But if you are taking out 52 and 3 all the time, you're thinking to yourself, oh, I'm making hard work of this. 59. Nathan, you require These 70. guys don't think about averages anymore. What they think about is what they've got to do right now. And Nathan needs 66, but he doesn't have to go bullseye route here. He can pick his spot and go for double 18 again. 52. If he was going to miss that, he'd much rather have missed outside. Hmm. He may split this when he comes back. We shall see. And James Wade, for one, he played. He, he was fantastic against Kim Hybrex. Thirty-four this afternoon as Maybe Peter Wright unfortunately hits the flight and doesn't register any points. And well, hang on, he is he splitting get... it. Two for double eight. And he's got there. Sensibly done. Aspen. Was Peter Wright hitting a sing going for a 19s that would have left 169 if he'd hit the single? Is that what he'd done there? Well, well, Peter whatever he was going for, he's, he's busted a stem and he's had to replace it. it, it Peter Wright doesn't make counting errors. Like, of all the players in the world, Peter Wright 16. is right out there. Van Gerwen doesn't do it. Peter Wright doesn't do it. I've, Anderson does. I've plenty seen, of people do. I've seen more counting errors this weekend from top line players than any other time Easy. in my life sometimes the heat just fries your brain and the heat has died down now so there are no excuses 60 yeah the young audience I think that's the boys who've been collecting flights all weekend they've got their ticket for the darts 123 I saw uh, some very good signs this weekend, Dan. I think there's been some very good creativity with the pen and paper. There was a one on the walk on for this match that said to Peter Wright, snake bite, go and whip his asp. Oh, I like I it. I think that yeah. was very creative. Yeah, okay. I like that. 22. Well, Nathan only picks up 22, and this leg looks like Peter's. 105. And, look, I know everybody makes a lot of things about, you know, Peter Owen, Peter Rose changes darts. You've not seen him play poorly with these ones. One hundred You've seen six one eighties in four legs of darts. Ludicrous stuff. Double double. Oh, that surprises 56. me a little. I Maybe thought he might have gone for double nineteen, double nineteen there. Is like, he just putting it there in case Nathan doesn't get it. He might get it though. He knows where eights are. And he's got hey, it. What a great shot. Play. He gave himself a lovely break of throw and a two leg advantage. Three legs on the Nathan spin the for the ass. Now nah, these Game two on. played an absolute blinder in Las Vegas when Nathan Asimov picked up his first World Series title. If you think it's the last World Series title Nathan Asimov is going to get, well, you're entitled to that opinion. But I'll be honest, having looked at Nathan over the last year, he looks like a player who is so at home 85. at being a top dart player. He looks like one of the best 10 players in the world. I think you'll see him in the Premier League. I think you'll see him in the World Series. And I think you'll see him winning stuff. He could win anything. He could win today. He really could. This Easy. half of the draw sees James Wade, a former champion here. Dave Chisnell, a former finalist here. Well, one thing's for sure as well. Through the summer, Nathan 60. had some issues with darts falling up the board in Prague yeah. and in Mannheim. To be fair, everybody did in Prague. <laughs> True. But what he's done is he's actually changed his points. He's 60. using the really aggressive point with a lot of grip on it. And it has definitely worked this weekend well just a quick note on that 60. I know there's been a lot of talk about boards you have not seen a single fallout or bounce out of the board all weekend here in Gibraltar admittedly it's not been ridiculously hot as it has been in 100. certain years here it's been your typical kind of darts environment 
but you have not seen any problem with the board. We didn't see any problem with the boards last time out on the European Tour. There have been some high-profile discussions about the state of the boards and, and there are talks about how they store them and all this sort of stuff and the points and all things. One hundred and forty six. A little bit down and just Maybe give my two bottles. You can do it in a minute. After this. After this. After this. Oh, my word! Fourteen. Hard and most stuff for Snakey there. He almost swallowed his tongue. His fork tongue. Double ten. Oh. Must hit. Thirty. Not to be for snake bite. And Maybe the Aspinall fans are going bonkers. Because they think it's 4-1 right now. They may be correct. Okay, there it is. Nathan it is 4-1. And Nathan Aspinall. Look, this is not as good as it was against Michael Van Gerwen this afternoon. But he has built up a similar lead in this game. And you know that the Asp is quite capable 100. of pulling out a couple of world-class legs at any point in this game from now on and that will be that for Nathan As uh, for Peter Wright yeah just to give my opinion about the boards I have looked at them in a lot 100. of detail on screen and up close this weekend they've been of a better quality it's as simple as that one hundred must be a different batch or something like that well it's that, the only thing I that can may see. be that may be an issue I mean look I know Prague will always be held up as an issue. As Nathan Aspinall fires in a fourth 180, but I have never, and literally never, not in Blackpool, not anywhere, been in a hotter darts venue. Mervyn King colla literally collapsed after walking off stage. That is how hot it was. So I think that's a special case. I think it's very special how Jimmy Hughes handled it all. He was the one who handled the heat the best. Ice cool. Who can remain cool here? Peter Wright loves a 161. Not going to take it out. Well, we're going to leave 96. Nathan, not in previous nine, leg, hit two trouble 19s in a row. Same route, different double. Oof. He'll want that one back. Looking to square it up. 64. That will do. Still a two dollar. Single 18. Been leaving tops a lot. He's not been working it for Nathan him here. Yeah. It's been his go-to double over the last few months, Peter Wright. And it's led to enormous success. But double top. 20. Oh, I, I mean, that's Peter just Uruguay wrong, Nathan. 20. You miss the first one, you don't stay there. Do you want to a Jose de Souza? No, do it, Jose. He was on the sixth leg. Peter Wright, seventh leg. Nathan do throw first. I think it's just a sign of resignation that the leg is gone. Well, subsequently it did go. But what a oh, repost from Aspinall. No, 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 no. This is the start of the seventh leg. Nathan Aspinall has hit five 180s. This boy can mix it with anybody on the planet. He is world 100. number 13 right now, but he hasn't even had two full years on the tour. Everything he does between now and the end of the World Championship on New Year's Day, that is money on his ranking with nothing coming off. And he made the semis of the Worlds last year. Nathan Asmo could literally be like world number two. 140. Come the start of 2020. That is not an exaggeration. Well, he's playing like a top 10 guy right now. He's playing better than that. He's playing like a world number two. Even a world number one. Well, the world number one ain't here because Nathan Aspen will beat him. Now, think about the amount 16, of 180s he's hit. Look at the difference in width of the dart of Peter Wright and the dart that Nathan is using. Double 16, double 12. Good split. He will be back. 24. Yeah, the girth of the bottom of the barrel of Nathan Aspinall, it's its very wide. And hitting 180s with those darts is not easy. It just goes to show how much precision and power he has. Well, look, Peter Wright's go has moved away from the thicker barrels because he knows he can score better in the 180s with the thinner ones. And he's been doing it because he's the biggest 180s in the world this year. 
But he is being beaten by Nathan Aspinall, who is using those darts absolutely expertly. Well, it might go 5-5. There's Dion. He's one of our backstage crews, obviously having a, a wee break. And he thinks it's going to go 5-5. 100. Yeah, Dion's one of our camera guys. He does a lot of the work with the production crew, and he's about eight and a half foot tall. He doesn't agree with me. And who's that? And who's that sat next to him? Dylan, Dylan Duo. Duo. Yeah, Do you remember him? Gibraltar legend. Former World Cup player. One World Cup winner on stage right now. In Peter Wright, of course. Yeah, Dylan had a chat with him on Friday, and he's, he's had an operation lately on his leg. And he says he's starting One to throw again, so watch out. Hopefully we'll be back next year. Good player, Dylan Duo. Nice guy. Seen history made here this weekend with two Gibraltar players making it through the first round. Both of them, you would Not say, even. were a little fortunate. I'm talking of history, while I remember, I was talking to some people backstage and making them aware of the fact that from Ali Pali, we could see history. And that is, if Glenn Durant was to win the world title, he'd be the first ever undisputed world champion with both in the locker. Oh, look at this, double 16. Oh, oh that is sexy darts. Peter Wright. Treble 17, treble 16, double 16, gigantic Cordeca applauds. He knows good darts when he sees it. Yeah, Cord Blaney thought this is a good game. Everybody in here is loving this game, as are we. I hope you guys are too. Look, it's not even their brilliant best. Like, we're seeing mid-90s averages here. But 96. there are some moments in this game that are superb. Look at that. Great recovery. He's done that so many times this weekend, Nathan Aspinall. Mm. He said either a treble one or a treble five and responded with two treble twenties after. He has got such guts, this kid. Well, that fifth leg, that was the one where Peter Wright missed a load of doubles at tops, tens and fives. It could well be the difference because it'd be four all if he'd won that one. But you're talking fine margins. We've got some of the best players on the planet in this final session of Euro Tour Darts this year. Major champions everywhere you look. In fact, the only one who hasn't won a major title. Well, Chisel hasn't, but he's made five major Maybe finals. White hasn't, but he's one of the best players that's ever lived. And here we go. Going to split it. Double 16 is oh. there. Sure. Gets it done. Nathan Aspinall has dispatched some of the best players in the world